Hello and welcome to this tutorial on terminal commands for beginners. In this video, we'll go over some basic commands that will allow you to navigate and interact with your computer's command line interface. The first thing you will need to do is open the terminal. I'm on Windows system, so I'll be using Windows terminal. If you go to the Microsoft store and search for Windows terminal, there you can download one for your system if you don't have one. I also have PowerShell installed in my computer, which I can use as default shell in my Windows terminal. On a Windows machine, you can open the terminal by going to the start menu and searching for command prompt as well. You can see since I have Windows terminal installed, I can use either command prompt or the PowerShell. So I highly recommend you download one if you're using Windows. Another thing I want to show you is that Oh My Posh is just a theme for your Windows. Currently, I do have it. So you can see here in my profile file here, I have commented out. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment this and open a new um, tab, which will open in my PowerShell because that's my default PowerShell in the Windows terminal. It looks a little bit different because I use this one. If you're on a Mac, you can do this by going to application folder, then utilities and clicking on terminal. If you're on a new Mac, then you will have a Zish uh, terminal. If, you are, if your Mac is a little bit older, then you probably will have something called Bash in your system. And oh my posh, uh, for Mac, it's called oh my Zish. So if, you want, if you're interested, you can look it up as well. I'll go ahead and give all the links in, uh, in the description so you can download. All right, the first command I will show you is called man command, this one. Man stands for manual, it is a utility command that describes a given specific command. So you can do space and write man again, and then enter, you can see that it actually gives you what this man command actually is. So name is kind of like a get help. So if you wanna, if you wanna know about what flags it uses, um, what this command actually does, what is the syntax, you can simply put man in front of it, and then space and then write that command and it will give you all this information. If I enter, you see that I can go down. And here you can see some uh, parameters that it can take also called as flags, uh, usually do like uh, dash in front of it. It can take as well. So I'm going to, if you want to get out of this manual, you can press Q on your keyboard, and that will get out. Okay, so there are a lot of things going on in this terminal right now. I will show you how you can clear all this. Two ways, if you press Control and L, Command L on uh, your Mac, then you see that it's all cleared up. But you see that there is a scroll bar here. So if I scroll up, I still see all these uh, commands and uh, results are still there. So this is handy because if you ever want to go back and see what was printed before, but if you don't want that, if you want to clear everything, then you can just say clear and then enter and it will clear everything. You see that there is no scroll or anything like that. All right, once you have the terminal open, you can use the CD command to change directories. For example, if you want to go to your home directory, you can type CD and enter and will go to your home directory, also known as root directory. You can also use the ls command to list the contents of a directory. So let me show you all what I just told you. So if you do cd, which stands for change directory, you can do man and then cd enter, you can see that it says set location. So basically, it's setting the location to where you want to go. If I enter this, you can also see that it takes um, uh, some uh, Path, uh, flag like stack name. So I'm going to queue this, get rid of all this, control L to clear everything. And now when your terminal first boots up, it boots up in your root directory, in your C directory. If you want to know what directory you are in, you can just do PWD, which stands for print working directory, right? So let's man this. You can see here, get location, right? So Q, get rid of that. So P, uh, W, D. And if I enter, it's going to give me the path, but the path of the folder or directory that I'm currently in. If you're on Mac, then you will be on the, your root folder as well. So from here, I can now navigate to a different directory, a different drive. So I know in my system, I do have an E drive. So I can just say C, D, E, 
and then colon, so that's the drive. And in that particular drive, I have a folder called projects. So I can just write PRO and then tab over. I do get auto completion for that. And inside projects, I can keep going on, chaining each folder inside the projects. And you see that this slash, it's this, basically this slash actually means that inside first this drive, Inside this drive, go to the project directory. Inside the project directory, go to, there is a folder called YouTube. So I'm gonna tab over again. And now if I enter, you see right now, it is showing that I am right now in my E drive project folder. And inside that project folder, I'm in YouTube folder. So that's how you actually navigate from one folder to another folder. Inside this YouTube folder, I'm gonna show you how you can create a directory, a, a brand new directory, right? And this is how you do it. It's called M MKDIR. So MKDIR start, stands for make directory. You can man make dir as well. It is a new item. As you can see here, new item path, and then it takes a string. So let's go ahead and do uh, exactly that. So make dir, and then I'm gonna provide a string. And the string is basically going to be the name of the folder that I wanna create. So I'm gonna create something called a parent. Uh, let's create a new folder. New folder. And if I enter, as you can see here, that it is giving you um, an issue. A positional parameter cannot be found with accepts argument folder. And that's happening is because there is a space. So if I do want to include a space in my name, then this is what I have to do. I have to put this in a quotation. Now, if I do this, you can see that now with the space, I have this new folder inside this YouTube. So let's go ahead and inside, go to this folder, CD and new and tap so it gets autocomplete and here if i enter i am right now inside of the new folder okay clear this so in this new folder i'm going to show you now another command which is called ls ls stands for list out all the items so ls enter there's nothing because there is absolutely nothing inside our new folder so let's go ahead and make another folder inside of new folder. We're gonna use the same make dir. Now this time I'm going to create a folder, but inside that folder, I'm gonna create another folder. So let me show you how, how that could be done. So make dir first, create a folder called parent, and I'm gonna do a slash. Inside parent, I'm going to create another folder called children. And if I enter, you can see that it is going to give you the, the latest folder, the last folder, which is children. So if I right now in new folder list ls this, now you can see it is listing out the parent folder because that's the only folder it's in new folder. So let's go inside the parent folder. Let's do cd parent folder. I'm in parent folder right now, as you can see here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So I'm in eDrive, projects, YouTube, new folder, and then parent. Now here, if I do uh, ls again, you can see there is a children folder. So I can create, you can create just parent, go inside parent, create another folder, or you can just write it out in one uh, string, right? Parent slash children. Okay, so let's go inside children, cd children. And chi, I'm gonna tap over, it's gonna autocomplete, so I'm in children. So right now, we know how to create a folder. We know how to create a directory. Let's see how we can create a file. Now, if you're on a Mac, there is, or Linux system, there is a command called touch. So if I do index, um, actually, let's do readme.md. Okay, that's a markdown file I want to create. Now, if I enter this, you see that we are getting an error. And that's because Windows is not Linux and uh, Unix, which is uh, used by Mac, Windows kind of have its own thing going. So Touch is not available in PowerShell on Windows, but Touch is available on your Mac. So you can use this one to create a file called readme.md. Now we can still create a file in our Windows, all we have to do is call a command called echo. Well first, echo is basically just <clears throat> echo out whatever you write right so like this it's just gonna echo out it's just gonna just print out whatever you wrote nothing changes if you do ls there's nothing right but if you do echo and then angle bracket which is basically greater greater than sign and then put readme dot 
md now it's going to actually create a file and here it's actually going to ask you like hey just add something so i can actually add uh let's do like a headline i'm gonna say this is a test file and now uh, if I do ls, you see that we indeed have a readme file. I can go ahead and do read and then autocomplete with tab. And just this, if I enter, it will open up with notepad because it's a markdown file. Okay, I can see this. In Mac, I believe you have to say open and then the particular file that you wanna open. Uh, on Windows, you can just write this the name of this and enter it's going to open that file for you in this terminal okay so let's learn um, something more so we know how to go inside of directory what about go outside so cd and then if we do space and dot dot is always means that your current directory current folder that you're in Okay, so if I do cd change directory the current folder, if I enter, you see nothing changes because I'm just telling you that we are in children, just stay in children. But if I do space dot dot, that means go up one directory. So now it should go back into the parent. So if I enter, you can see that now we are in parent. If I list out, children folder is right there. We can also do like cd just by this and then enter. It's going to immediately take you to the home directory, which is the root directory. Okay, and if you wanna go back to where you were before without typing again, E project and everything, what we can do, CD space and just dash and enter, you see that we are gonna go back to this exact folder that we came from. Pretty nifty. Okay, so let's do, um, cd1 directory up so go back to the new folder list out our parent this is what we're going to do we are going to change this parent um, name in fact no let me show you the move command so we are going to create at this level in the new folder make dir and we're going to say grand uh, let's do because there's going to be a space so grand parent. So if we do this, now ls, you see that there is two directories, two folders, grandparent and parent. And what I want is that I want this parent to move to the grandparent, okay? Usually on your computer, you're gonna use it, use your mouse to do it, like, you know, get it and put it in the grandparent. But we wanna use our terminal. Terminal is text-based command system that your computer understand. And if you are um, embarking on the software engineering development role, this is something that is very important for you to understand. Uh, just think about like uh, if you want to create a React application, right? You would have to run npm create React app on the terminal. So getting familiarized with terminal is, is very crucial. Okay, so um, what I want to do is call move. So let's man move, move item, simple as this. Let's queue it, get rid of that. Um, and then we are going to say move the first path it's going to take or folder directory it's going to take uh, is what we want to move. So I want to move the parent. So tap to autocomplete space. That's the second argument. That is where do we want to move it to? I want to say grand again. I'm going to tab it so autocomplete enter. Okay. Looks like it works. Let's see if it did ls. So you see the parent directory is no more only grandparent. So let's go to grandparent and list out there. You see that a parent directory now in the grandparent inside the parent uh, list out there. You have the children inside children uh, thing. I did. If I press up key on the keyboard it will go back to the previous command that i just pressed so i can just delete that and here in children i do have the readme.md file okay um, that's how you actually move one file to another there is another use case for move let's say i have a file called readme.md here right so i can in rename this file so i can with this 
move, I, I will first say which file I want to, you know, uh, alter, rename, and then space, I will put the new name. So let me go ahead and do readme.md like that. So if I enter, and now if I ls, you see that the name has been changed. Great. Okay, now uh, another command. Now this command is called cp. Now cp is stands for copy. I can copy this file, read me and space. Where do I want to copy it? So let me go back one uh, up directory from children to go to parent. Go up one. Oops. Go up one more directory, which is now. So one up directory would be in parent. From parent, there's one up directory would be grandparent. So here, if I just simply enter this ls, there's nothing wrong. Uh, nothing happens here. Nothing wrong with readme file. But if I go back to the grandparent and list out, you see that now readme file is there. So read copy cp start, uh, stands for copy. You can copy one file to another location. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to cd dot dot. So we are in grandparent. So just one uh, folder up, that would go give me a new folder. So at this point, if I list out, you see, we have this folder called grandparent. What I'm going to do here is I want to delete this grandparent. And we can do this with rm command. So rm and the folder here. And if I enter, you see that it is actually going to give me a confirmation because usually if the full directory or folder that I'm trying to delete, if that's empty, there's nothing inside there, it's just going to delete it for you. But if there's information inside there, then it's going to give ask you that, hey, do you want to delete it? I can see there are children or items inside there. As of here, it say that yes to all. All right, so I'm going to say A because I want to completely delete everything. And this delete is not sending to your recycle bin. This actually deletes it from the memory of your computer. So there you go. So right now, if I ls this, there's nothing inside um, new folder here. All right, these are just a few basic commands to get you started with the terminal, but there are many more you can use to do all sort of tasks. If you want to learn more, there are plenty of resources available online, such as tutorials and documentation for different operating systems. I'm going to go ahead and give you this link. What is the Linux command handbook by Flavio Copes? I think how he pronounced his name. It is in free code camp. There is also a free code camp channel video called still did in YouTube, if you want to search, there are plenty, plenty of commands that you can learn more about it. You can do so much, but these are the basic commands that I use on the daily basis. And hopefully it will give you a very basic introduction of the terminal. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share and subscribe if you're not, and I will see you in the next one.